Hello, my name is Chris Kiak with Kiak Technology Solutions. In this video today, I'm going to talk a little bit about a custom tool that I've created for a metal building customer that uh, fixes welds in the Tecla Structures model after importing from MBS uh, slide rule into Tecla Structures. And they specifically use the AGT Beammaster robotic welding machine. And sometimes there are welds that are done in the shop standards uh, that have been done for years out in the shop and they've been done by hand and now they're going to be done by the robotic welder. And a lot of times those welds are in the shop standards and have not been marked up on drawings or done in the Tecla model before or may not be handled necessarily by MBS and the detailing and the engineering side. But they are weld standards that the AGT robotic uh, welding machine needs to do. So what I've done is I've made a custom tool based on those specific standards and changes that a customer wants. And I've made a tool that uh, automatically applies those welds in the model. So that way they can send that information out to the AGT machine. Okay, so I'm here in the Tecla Structures model, and you can actually see that this is a AGT specific workflow. So this particular customer is not necessarily detailing in Tecla Structures, they're only importing the frames into the Tecla model, so that way they can export that and feed that over to the Cortex software which runs the uh, AGT Beammaster robotic welding machine. And so here in this particular example, you can see that just the frames are here, there's no bolts or holes, and uh, the MBS piece marks uh, are probably forced coming into Tecla Structures, so the piece marks in Tecla match exactly what's being detailed uh, over an MBS. Okay, so with that being said, um, this tool is a custom developed tool specific based on this customer's uh, weld standards and needs. And so a lot of what they're doing here is actually here at the haunch or the knee of the column and the rafter. And so a couple examples that they wanted fixed is that um, here this is coming across as a CP weld, uh, whether there's an extension or if this is flush where there's no extension here and the cap plate is flush with the flange and they want this actually fixed based on a weld table uh, based on their weld standards. Um, then there's also this leading weld that has been set and comes across, but they actually want this to be an increased weld uh, and in, uh, based on the, um, the engineer's markup on the shop drawings. And so they want this leading weld uh, to come down here and be done by the AGT and it's going to come right here to the top of that stiffener. So sometimes you'll have like a thickened web here um, or a web splice and uh, you need uh, you know maybe an increased weld or two-sided weld here uh, for the load transfer coming through the knee. And so they wanted something specific for that. And then same thing here for this weld on the top. So we can have like an override for that based on what the engineer specifically wants. And that's why there's these user entered fields here. And um, then uh, there's this option here to either, um, if it's a single sided weld uh, where there's no extension, so like if it was flush here, then I could enter the weld based on the engineer's uh, markups on the drawings. Um, or here I can read from that table 10 to actually fill that uh, for a near side, far side weld. The last thing is uh, that they basically wanted this single weld here. Um, so see there's this large single fillet weld size and uh, they do have MBS set up to extend this end point down below. Um, but for some reason it doesn't automatically detect and switch this to a near side, far side fillet weld there. So they wanted that to be fixed again based on their table 10 here, which you can see the notes on. Now, uh, basically the user can choose to check on and off which specific welds uh, that they want to be fixed, depending on what they're trying to do and uh, what they want to review. And uh, it's very simple, they can select you don't have to do this one at a time and select the individual welds. You can just basically pick on any part on the assembly and it will detect whether it's a rafter, uh, a column or a wind bent. And then basically the only other thing I need to do is tell it uh, what uh, is the haunch type here. And in this particular case, this is a single slope. And so I'm at the low eave here. So I'll just make sure that that's properly set. And then uh, all I need to do is press fix welds. So when I do that, you'll see here that it actually gives us a report. And if we highlight those uh, items in the report, it actually highlights those welds here inside of the model. So that way I can see the two welds that were fixed. And then here, another weld was added on the bottom. And so again, it read that table 10. So if I look at, for instance, the thickness of this, this is a 5 16 plate. And so when we look at uh, the chart that I had there, uh, quarter inch welds were what were being used from that table 10 as an example. Then uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at the other welds here. So it looks like here this weld got bumped up and then it did uh, actually two welds. There's a near side and far side weld uh, created. And uh, that uh, is a polygon weld, which works really well with the AGT. And then same thing over here, I've got these two welds that were created, a near side, far side weld based on the dialog box. And then also when you look at this, you'll see that the weld, uh, this increased weld size is going just to the top of the stiffener exactly like the customer wanted. And then if there was an extension of that web below, or if there was just one single web here, there'd be a long weld on the top at that increased size, or sorry, a short weld at the top uh, from the stiffener to the cap plate. 
um, and then it would just do those double welds or single weld at that different size. And then here the pull through welder is going to do uh, basically this weld between the webs and the flanges here on the bottom. And if there's a splice, then it'll just do that small weld there. So that just kind of shows you some of the fixes that were done. And then here's that near side, far side weld. So instead of the CJP weld, we've got uh, the two welds here on the inside of the web and then this single weld on the outside. And then if I actually go to the top side, just to show you kind of how this works, uh, let me fire up that tool again and I'll show you the difference because there's uh, basically no extension up here. Okay, so I launched the tool again and I'm gonna select on uh, this particular column. And um, you know, I might actually fix a couple things here. Let's actually switch this to high eave. And I'll even do both the, uh, the column and the rafter on both of these. And I'll just say fix welds. Now when I do this, you're gonna see that it goes from the CJP weld and then it just does this increased size weld based on uh, you know, what was entered in the dialog box here. And so it just does that increased single side. And then um, it does those fixed welds here. Like, uh, so we can see again, those welds going to the top of the stiffener. And then there's the welds on the top and the bottom there at that increased size. And then down here, it just added that far side weld. So watch if I just undo and you can see that larger weld. And then if I redo, you can see the smaller weld. So there you go. Rather than uh, spending, you know, lots of hours manually fixing these just to feed the shop. Um, basically, you can incorporate these weld standards into the Tecla model. And again, it's something that the detailers don't typically do. Um, and they're not typically worrying about because it's based on weld standards. And uh, MBS may not do all of those specific weld standards or have those in slide rule. And so here I can just custom program those specific needs and uh, build tools that rapidly fix those things in the model for you. Again, my name is Chris Kiak with Kiak Technology Solutions, and I work quite a bit with metal building customers using the MBS software and using slide rule and working with Tecla structures and doing training, setup, as well as custom tools like you saw here in this video.